It's a very fast machine, it's quiet, and it's very powerful. That's one thing we noticed is the transmission and the, uh, there's a lot of torque in that motor. The transmission's strong and the, it gets around. Yeah, the diff lock is automatic. You can set it up automatic, you can set it up manual. The thing's so user-friendly, I have it set up in automatic. And I'm, you know, it's not all the time, uh, but when you get into a pile and you just you need that extra traction, it just comes on automatically. You never even have to, to second guess if it's gonna come on. It just, it comes on right when it's supposed to. Into a turn, it'll work in the turn. It'll shut itself off when you're going back. And as soon as you need it again, once again, it just comes on and just pushes you right through the pile. It feels like you can have a full bucket faster without having it curled back as far. Um, it'll actually outdate our 9728. You'll notice that you know quite a bit, but it's filling and kind of coming over the top of the bucket long before the 72H. The dig time is reduced quite a bit. On the, the new bucket is particularly good compared to the predecessor of this machine with regard to the ease of filling the bucket. There's a push button, then the scale is there, and you load exactly what you need. You can easily set it to the weight of the various vehicles, you can store the weights, and then you can call them back up with a number, one, two, or three. And then you always have the weight there, and you can load easily after that. It works perfectly. 